Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. As you saw in the thumbnail and the title, we are doing our Slytherin makeup look. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, uh, products I used, stuff like that, then please keep on watching. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I would love to know down below in the comments after I'm done with the slit, uh, the, the puff, oh my gosh, words are hard. After I'm done with the Hogwarts houses, what would you like to see next? Would you like to see decades of makeup? Would you like to see um, different gemstones? Let me know some ideas down below in the comments. I really appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get started with our Glam Slytherin makeup look. So, yeah. I'm ready to do this. Okay, so got like my base makeup, um, bronzer, blush, eyebrows done. I'm excited to start the fun eye look. So, I feel like I'm gonna be like all Slytherin, like work ready, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic, and this is an aluminum foil. Um, so it's like the colors, house colors are silver, gray, green, stuff like that. So that's why I'm all green today, and my chic little earrings, snake earrings, but. Um, I did a swatch of this before, and it is pigmented. So, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, wow. That is crazy. I grabbed two different palettes to do the eye look. So I have the Revolution um, Reloaded in Blackout and then the Profusions Meadow palette. But I have not even opened this, but I love Revolution, so it should be good. But oh my gosh, so I was looking up like attributes to Slytherin and I feel like they definitely get a bad rap because like they're like some of their stuff is like determination and, and all sorts of stuff. And it's like not bad stuff. But I guess a lot of it is that a lot of these individuals, like I know it's fake, I know it's just a book, but um, they will do anything that it takes to uh, succeed. And so I guess that's where they kind of get their bad name and everything like that. But um, I, I always liked Slytherin. I always liked the colors and everything like that, but doing some dark gray in my outer corner a little bit into my crease my outer crease anyway okay I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a lighter gray for transition shade so kind of like this pearly gray just to see if we can get like a nice blend Okay, I'm going to be doing a super smoked out green lower lash line. So I'm going to go in and start with Habit, which is this green right here. And I really want that green to show. I need to change brushes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start building this evergreen shade right on top and a little bit closer to the lash line. And hopefully we can get a really, really smoked out green eye look. Okay, we're definitely getting a little more green. Okay. 
I'm going in with the Rimmel um, Precision Eyeliner in Ivy. I'm going to try to smoke that on my waterline. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and then we'll finish up the face and do the lips. So the lips are gonna be fun. Okay, so I think the mascara really added something to it. You could totally pop on some lashes and you'd be golden. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Wet n Wild uh, Manglow Highlighter and this is a special edition Midnight Moon. Uh, it's from their, like, their mermaid collection. This has a green kind of shift to it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as the highlight because why not? Very pretty. Okay, so the fun part. We are going to all oh, I, not we, but you're watching, so we. I'm gonna be using that same Ivy eyeliner as a lip liner, and then we're gonna be going in with a green lipstick. So let me rip and line my lips, and we'll finish this Slytherin look up. Okay, so this is Maybelline's um, lipstick, Color Sensational Lipstick in Serpentine. I can never get my lips even. It's just a thing. But this is the finished Slytherin look. I absolutely love it. Um, I would totally do this eye look again. Um, I really, really like it. I would maybe add some liner and maybe a little bit of a darker corner, but I wanted the emphasis to be on the silver and the green. And I really, really like it. I think it's really, really pretty. And I, I would wear this out. So Anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy house number two Slytherin uh, makeup look. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it. I'll go ahead and put everything in the little products box so that way if you're interested in picking anything up like this gorgeous green lipstick or the silver eyeshadow, um, it's easy to just click on it. But yeah, um, let me know down below in the comments which house you would like to see next, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff. No, not Hufflepuff. Um, Ravenclaw or Gryffindor. I already did Hufflepuff, so let me know down below in the comments. And of course, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. I do upload seven days a week, all about budget beauty. So it can be a makeup look, a vlog, a haul, home decor, all sorts of stuff. So subscribe if you would like to. You're also welcome to follow me on my other social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'll have it linked down below for you. And I appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start auto-playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, and enjoy, and I'll see you here in just a second.